So I'd like to talk to you about crabgrass and goosegrass. But I can't stress enough how important it is to get your crabgrass control down in the spring. That's usually the biggest complaint of a homeowner that they have crabgrass even after they put their crabgrass control down. Mother Nature's in charge, so if we get a lot of rain and it depletes that crabgrass control, you can get crabgrass or goosegrass to grow later on in the season. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to identify crabgrass and goosegrass. I get a lot of phone calls in April, so I've already got crabgrass and I missed the window. Crabgrass doesn't germinate until the end of April, so nobody has it in March and April. Right now is when it's very obvious and it usually occurs on the edge of your driveway because you don't get enough product right up against the driveway or a sidewalk. So we went over to the driveway and we found some crabgrass that we had showed you earlier, but I wanted you to see the seed heads. Crabgrass has multiple seed stems coming out and there's hundreds of seeds on this stem. And that's crabgrass. Goosegrass has three stems. So it looks like a goose foot. If you can imagine the web going between as a goose or a duck has. And there's hundreds of seeds on here. So this one plant is gonna produce hundreds of plants for next year.